Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I customized my phone with the new iOS 14 update. Now, disclaimer, I do know that this video is super late. I was supposed to do it weeks ago, but I've just been busy. Um, so I'm going to do it today. So I'm going to start um, the screen recording situation. All right, so I'm going to put it right here, and I'm starting off by showing you guys how I did mine. So as you guys can see, the first page, I have a few widgets. Um, I have my calendar. I have two kind of illustrations, and then I have my most used apps. And then on the second page, I also have some widgets with some illustrations, um, some like motivational quote, and then I have, I guess you can say my second most used um, apps. And then um, towards my third page, it's more of like work oriented, I feel like it is. Um, so first of all, I have this beautiful illustration that I got off of Pinterest, and most of the things that I'm gonna show you guys here, I got them off of Pinterest. Um, and then I have like my YouTube studio um, just to like keep track of my numbers here on YouTube. Um, a tracker that I don't really need anymore, but it was also for YouTube. Um, Mercari because that's where I like shopping for my used books. And then we have my Etsy shop, which I have never really shared the link um, because I'm not ready for it yet, but soon I will. I have my Goodreads account, I have my book of the month, I have my bank account, and then below that I have my work calendar. And I'm not going to open that because it's the Google um, calendar where I just have my work scheduled. Um, and all like my meetings and stuff. So that's why I have that calendar instead of the app calendar um, because I just use that one more. Um, my, where are we? My fourth page is actually pretty interesting. Um, I did kind of my own, um, little shortcuts for every member of my family because we FaceTime all the time. So I want to be able to just kind of click on the, um, app and like call them. Like, as you can see, if I call, that's like straight to my niece. Um, obviously I'm not going to call her right now because she's in school. As you guys can see, it does go to your shortcuts and that's something that we will talk about later. Um, but anyways, so yeah. And then I have kind of just things that I use often that I don't want in the app library, but I do want like on my screen, I guess you can call it. Then my fifth page is just all of my folders. And again, I will get a little bit into that later. I just want to show you guys an overview of what everything kind of looks like. And then the last one is your app library. Okay, so now that you saw kind of my aesthetic, what I went for, I'm kind of going to go ahead and explain things, break them down. <laughs> So the first step that you have to do is obviously update your phone to the iOS 14 software and you can do that by just going to your settings app and go to general and then software update and that is just where you update everything. Once you do that, I would say that the second step is for you to declutter your phone. Now, um, you just need to keep in mind the apps that you know 100% want to be in your screen and that you want to do an app cover for them. An app cover is these really cute, aesthetically pleasing app icons. So as you guys can see, I don't have the usual, you know, colors that the app icons come with. Um, so what I did is just kind of made my own. So I just kept in mind the apps that I really essentially wanted on my screen. And then the rest of them, I kept them in my folders that I normally have. So these folders, I organized them a really long time ago. And I didn't want to get rid of them just because I really like them. They're very organized. And at the same time, if I can't find something in the app library, I know I have them here. Um, so for me, I decided to keep the folders. You don't need to keep them. You can go ahead and just put everything in your app library. And the way you do that is, for example, you press and hold, you edit home screen, um, and then I believe you go to the negative sign and then you either delete the app or just move to the app library. And once you move to the app library, it will no longer be on your screen. It will just 
be sorry it will just be right here where all your apps essentially are which is actually very useful um that you don't necessarily need this page anymore another really cool feature that you can do in case the um this page bothers you if it's too cluttered you don't want to see it um you can also go ahead and just edit home screen press the buttons down below here and then you see all the check marks you can just go ahead and take the check mark off hit done and then you will no longer see your page um okay so then yes you can see when i scroll i go directly to the app library um that's a good feature i don't necessarily use it maybe one day i will but for now i really do like just having this page available just in case um and then it's just back on there just like that so it's pretty easy and i i don't know i really like having the folder page so yeah the third step that it is essential is for you to go to your app store and go ahead and download widget submit and that's what's going to help you um get the really cool widgets on your screen so right here you go ahead and you download this one right here the first one that comes up or actually the second one at this point um uh, i already have it downloaded so i just have to like open it there's also this one that's called color widgets which is pretty fun as well but i just i i don't have it anymore i downloaded it and then i realized that i didn't need it so i have widgets made so you go ahead and you open that and this is where you get your really really cool widgets so what you essentially do is you kind of um as you can see these are all my widgets um i have all these small ones and then i have medium size and then i have this large one so what you have to do is if you're going to add a medium widget um, let's say I'm going to go ahead and customize this one. So let's say I want a clock this time and I want um, font. Let's go with New York style. That's a pretty font. Um, let's go, we'll stay with white. Background color, we'll do... Um, let's customize something. It's really cool because this new feature, the customize, wasn't available when i first did it which was probably the second or third day that the update was available let's say i want this cool green i really like green so we'll do that um yeah i don't like using borders i know a lot of people like using borders i don't like it so that's where i'm gonna stay and yeah that would be my medium widget um, all right, so now that I have my um, widget, my medium widget saved, all you have to do is go ahead and edit home screen again. And what you do is you go ahead and hit that plus sign on your left corner. Um, and then you go to your widget smith, which is down here. And then you add a widget. So you have smalls, which is all my illustrations. Of course, you can like add your own. Um, but right now, we actually made a medium one. So I would hit add widget. And then you just, you have it right there. It's ready to go. You can also double click it. Or no, click it once. I'm sorry. I always say double click it. Click it once, please. And then you have like all your widgets here. So... I use number two here. I don't know what else. I have number one, which is the one that I have, I believe, in the front. Yes. Um, and yeah, you have all your different widgets right there. So they're pretty simple to do. I guess it's just um, like doing it constantly. And like, I like having this in the bottom. Actually, this is not the widget I had. Is it? No. I have widget four. So yeah there you go so um hit done and then you would have your widget like that same process with um the big ones and the small ones um i have my large one right here um if you want like a different picture you just kind of add small widget and then you have different options as to you know you can have a small date sign um a small calendar photos in an album, um, just a random photo from your um, feed, 
it's just all different things that you can do that battery icon is actually pretty cool i wonder if you can like change the shade of that that would be pretty cool if you can customize it oh you can oh my goodness i love that i am going to be adding that probably i don't know where but i'm definitely gonna add that um so that's pretty much it with widgets now let's talk about the app icons so i so you guys can see i customized my own i didn't use the regular ones and disclaimer for everyone yes when you do an app cover it is a shortcut this was actually available before the ios 14 update was even in question um as long as you have the shortcuts app you could do the app covers but with that being said you do have to keep in mind that every single time you click on your app so for example here on my screen it obviously looks very nice and pleasing to the eye but if i hit instagram for example it's going to take me first to the shortcut um so it's going to take you to the app, as you can see right there, for about less than a second, I want to say. And so if that bothers you, then do not do this because this is going to happen constantly on every single app you open. So for example, if I'm going to open, um, let's say Snapchat, it's first going to go to the shortcut up, and that is going to be every single time. So now that I got that out of the way, the first thing you want to do is, like I said in the beginning of the video, just keep in mind which apps you really wanted. So on my first page, I knew I wanted Instagram, I wanted TikTok, I wanted camera, I wanted my Starbucks app, I wanted maps, I wanted my mail, I wanted music, and Yoda, Yoda is my car, um, just to keep track of like my miles and my gas and all that kind of stuff, making sure my car is locked and all that jazz so what i did is just go ahead and get a background that i thought would be between the scheme of my colors that i wanted to um use and then i got a png and put it on top and then made it white if you guys need an um like a separate video on how to do app icons i can go ahead and do that for you guys it's pretty simple um you can either do it on procreate or canvas um, it's really simple but anyways back to it um so i have that on the first page because i just knew that those are the apps that i use the most um and that little corner that i have there with like my car and music i use that in the car so that's why i have it there grouped together uh, my second page i knew i wanted photos there i wanted the app store i wanted my clock i wanted my facetime app because i use that the most i wanted youtube pinterest snapchat and twitter and then on my third page i already went through that i wanted everything kind of youtube work related there and then this is the app the app this is the page where i had the most fun like i said i made little icons for every single person in my family just so that i can facetime them very quickly and just know that they have their own little app right there and it's really cute and then i also have a little corner of like more general um apps which is like my calculator notes settings my regular app not app yeah apple no said apple yeah apple calendar and yeah so i did i want to say i did a lot of app covers you don't have to do that many i know there's people that only do like one page or two i was really addicted to making them i was really enjoying doing them so that is sort of why i just did so many but it's not necessarily um you don't necessarily have to do so many app covers i just wanted to do that so the way you get your app covers to work and make sure they open up your apps is you go to your app shortcut and if you do not have this you can download it but for the most part i believe everybody should have this and you go on the plus side and you add an action you type on the search bar you type open app and it will pop up so it's this one right there then you go ahead and you click choose that it's in blue let's say i want to go ahead and open my 1-800 contacts um so we'll put that and then what i do is hit these little dots there um you type it in 
So I like to use space sis in my letters just so that it looks um, better. I don't know. Um, you add to home screen. You go ahead and you type it again. Um, whatever it is that you want. So let's just put eyes. I don't know. And then you hit the little picture, you choose a photo, and then this will come up. So, um, we'll choose this one, I guess. I don't know. I have a bunch of illustrations that I downloaded from Pinterest. So you choose that, and it will automatically just look like that. And then you go ahead and add, and you hit done. And once that's done, you are ready to go. So then we go back. Oh, sorry. And we look at our screen and there we have it and it's gonna go directly to your contacts um, to my my prescription contacts um, and that is basically what you do um, it is the one part that was the most like time-consuming of everything but I have to say that once you start doing it it is addictive and I think that's what happened to me and that's why I ended up with so many app covers so many pages but i'm totally okay with it and yeah i think that's pretty much it for this video if you guys want a more like in-depth video of other things i would go ahead and do that but for now that's pretty much it um i really love this new kind of widget situation happening it really gives you so much um flexibility on making like your own like creativity is that was that sentence said right i don't know it just gives you freedom to be creative and that is why i like the widget smith so much so that is it for me i know this was probably a long video i don't know i hope you guys enjoyed it if you want a part two just go ahead and let me know and i will do showing you guys how i do the app covers and all that so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time